Welcome to our one-hour meeting of the minds about money, your money. This is Invest Talk, made possible today and every day by KPP Financial. It's about managing risk while looking for profits, putting the money you work for to work for you. And now, here's registered investment advisor Steve Peasley. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Invest Talk. This is the hour we set aside to talk about money. Anything to do with money, finances, mortgages, money. That's why I like to talk about money. I talk about it every day, and I like it. The money you're trying to protect to grow your portfolio in your retirement. A lot of you have a lot of wealth built up in your home, and you've seen some of that wealth disappear with this downstroke in the economy. In other parts of California, there hasn't been that big of a pull down. Some, as much as 50%, depends on where you are. Huge discrepancy, disparity there, disparity. So it's interesting. So what should you do about it? Should you do anything about it? Generally speaking, you can't do much about it. If you can identify the kind of investor you are, you can do something about your investments in your 401k, IRA, and and your individual investment accounts. You can figure out if you are a trader or you're a buy and holder. Are you kind of a nester or you're a hunter? What do you do? What what kind of person you are? And that will tell you what kind of investments you should be in. And maybe you're a type A personality versus a type B. Very different investors, those two two types of personalities. So what are you? If you don't know, then you have a problem. Now, as you know, as you get close to the retirement age, it is difficult. It's a puzzle how to figure all this out. How much money do you need? How much money are you going to... You, you, are you going to require in retirement? There's a rule of thumb about 75% of what you make uh, in your last year of working is what you're going to need in retirement. Some people need more. Some people don't need that much. Depends. And you have to figure it out. Now, I've just introduced next month's wealth conference. It's going to be in Los Angeles. We haven't been out in the Los Angeles area in Industry Hills and in the city of industry. We haven't been there in a while. Industry Hills in the City of Industry. You can see more about this conference and get some details about it by just going to investtalk.com. You can sign up there on investtalk.com. It's in uh, Industry Hills near the City of Industry. Uh, we've been there before, uh, going back six, eight months, a year maybe. I'm not sure. But this is the first one we've had in a while in the L.A. area. The way to get through to us right now, if you have a question about your IRA, your stock, your portfolios, your property, all you do is call 888-99-CHART, 888-992-4278. And we're going to look at the market in a couple of minutes. We'll do that. But what are our Invest Talk talking point today? Invest Talk talking point is does your portfolio need some spice? Do you need some? Well, maybe you do. Maybe you should take a look at it. But we're going to talk about basic economics. Uh, introduction to basic economics. I know that sounds awful boring. I kind of really enjoy the subject myself. I really like the economics. Try to figure out what our economy is going to do. Because if I can figure that out, I'll know if I should be more fully invested, less fully invested. That's the kind of thing. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, basic economics. It's an introduction, and it's in, at Investopedia, a very great site, Investopedia.com. And we're going we're gonna to get, get into that and try to give you a little bit of understanding of how our economic system works, or any economic system, how it works. Now, let's get right to the phones first. Here's a call from Jay in, in Los Angeles. Hey, my name is Jay. I have a question about the company VCI, Victor Charlie India, communication, Velocis communication. Uh, what's your take on this company, please? Thank you very much. I listen to you guys every day online and uh, appreciate your help. Thank you very much. Bye. VCI has been moving up nicely from our March lows, March lows, and you can see it's higher lows, and it looks like it just made a higher high re- just recently, up 14 cents to $14.21. What is it? Velasquez Communications. It publishes it publishes free standing and newspaper inserts, door hangers, 
newspaper pa- newspaper pages and direct mail advertising. That's what they do. Their growth rate is spectacular. The last quarter they grew 131 percent. Quarter before that 144. Quarter before that 135. A year ago, the the big problem is that's a comparison of a year ago when it was shrinking. So there's an issue there. But last quarter did 661 million dollars in sales. And the entire market cap, just in one quarter now, an entire market cap of the company is 682. That means it's of like a 0.2, 0.3 price to sales ratio, way below one. We'd like it to be low two, and this is way, way below. So that tells you it's a pretty good value. Earnings yield's nine. We're looking for about six, six and a half now. GP is 2.2. We're looking for at least two. All the numbers match up for this company. All the numbers match up. So what is a dollar fifty nine? Then that's what they're gonna make earnings per share next year worth. Well, if you put a ten PE, that's sixteen bucks and the chalk is right now is fourteen. Well, if you put a normal PE on it's gonna be worth more. I have about a nineteen dollar stock to nineteen eighteen, nineteen twenty. Somewhere in there is where I think this stock is worth. I like it. Uh, It looks pretty strong to me. Um, It looks like it might hit some resistance here shortly, but it still looks fairly strong to me. I I, kind of like this stock. I'm going to have to say yes. 888-99-CHART. Now it's time to be part of the program. It's your turn to talk. What's your investing question? Call 888-99-CHART. You can do it right now. If you're ready, we are too. 888-992-4278. We're glad you're with us today for Invest Talk. There are three ways we serve our listeners. First, we answer your questions on the air live with access to our 24 hour listener line and via email at 888 99chart at gmail.com. Two, investtalk.com with financial information and perspective. And three, with individual portfolio checkups on the phone or at one of several Northern and Southern California offices. And thanks for listening to Invest Talk today. 888-99-CHART. We're going to go to Connie in San Francisco. How are you doing, Connie? Hi, Jerry. Thank you for taking my call. No problem. Uh, I would like to ask you, uh, pick your mind on the Citibank and the Bank of America. Okay. Uh, I'm looking into to, um, uh, to buy some of those shares at this level. I just want to know if this is a good uh, entry point at this moment. Probably is. I would have to say yes, it's a good entry point for Citibank at least because I pulled up Citibank first. Now, my value is not very good on Citibank because my value is always predicated on growth and growth of earnings. And, of course, Citibank and others are not growing. They're shrinking. Uh-huh. But what you have to do when in this kind of situation, you probably should go look at the price to sales ratio as opposed to the – as opposed to the growth rate in earnings. Now, I will say this. They made $4.26 in 2006, and next year they're only going to make $0.73 cents per share. And you see how the subprime issue and the liquidity problem has really killed them. It's really hurt their earnings. But the year after that, 2009, they're going to make $3 a share. Mm-hmm. And the stock is, stock is selling at, what, $26 right now. Well, what is three dollars a share worth? What, what? If you put a ten PE on that, that's thirty, and the stock and the ten is low. So what if you give it? It's, you know, a, a normal PE. The stock is worth at least forty-five, fifty bucks. Now, right. now, so it's that kind of thing. I kind of think I kind of I think Citigroup is in a buy point. You might get another stroke down. Um, uh, there's other companies in the financial sector. That, to me, look better than Citigroup, but there's nothing wrong with Citigroup. They just got to get through this liquidity crunch. And so, Connie, what you ask yourself is, do you think, right. it's, you think it's over, this liquidity issue, this bad problems? Do you think it's behind them? Have they written off enough losses? And right. I, I think if, the, if it's not, Connie, they're probably pretty close. Okay, thank you so much. Good luck with it. I hope it works for you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's Citigroup, everybody.